This is Gene Key, KDDD News. Amarillo.com reports James Michael White, 25, of Arlington, led Canyon Police and Randall County deputies on a brief high-speed car chase Wednesday before he was arrested. White was taken to the Randall County Jail on a charge of evading arrest and a drug charge. White also had four outstanding warrants. About 10.15 a.m., White was dropping off his girlfriend and her daughter at the Randall County Justice Center to take care of a parole violation when deputies learned he was wanted. Deputies escorted White to his vehicle where he said he wanted to make a call. White entered through the passenger side but hopped over to the driver's seat and took off north on U.S. Highway 87. White led deputies to Sundown Lane, hooked a U-turn, and entered an on-ramp at Hunsey Road where he struck the guardrail. Speeds exceeded 100 miles per hour, according to police. White again entered Canyon, made another U-turn, and returned back to the Justice Center where he was arrested. According to Amarillo.com, it's being called the biggest case of Medicaid fraud in U.S. history, and an Amarillo orthodontist is being linked to it. It's not the first time Dr. Michael Goodwin has been under the federal government spotlight. Reports show in 2008, authorities confiscated close to $250,000 from his bank accounts. Now, he's being accused of scheduling up to 400 Medicaid patients a day while billing the government for work he never did. Dr. Goodwin said he doesn't feel guilty. He's just ready for an end to the investigation. He said there's no telling just when that could happen. NewsChannel10.com reports one of two men indicted for tampering with evidence in connection with an Amarillo murder has now been charged with heroin trafficking. The Amarillo Globe News is reporting Philip Schindler and two other men have been charged by federal authorities. Schindler is also accused of moving the body of Clay Peterson. Peterson was found dead in a North Amarillo ditch nearly three months ago, but investigators say that's not where he died. The Randall County District Attorney's Office says they believe Schindler and William Doan moved Peterson's body from a home on Princeton Street to the ditch on Smelter Road outside of Amarillo. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.